Hello there. This is day 20. Wow, we got to 20. Look at us. Hey, look at us. Day 20 of the Linux Upskill Challenge. And we are going to do some scripting today. So what is scripting? Any command that can be interpreted by the shell and any sort of grammar that the shell understands is shell scripting. And you can do that in many combinations and that can be as complex as you want. But today I'm going to show you how a shell script can be pretty simple. I'm gonna have to go into hardcore hacking mode. The first line on your script is the most important line because it's going to determine which shell is going to interpret your script or to which flavor of shell your script was written to. I know, I know who wrote it. And we have several different interpreters that can that can execute your script, but the, f the first line is the most important. We start with a hash bang or shebang. I said a bang. And then the path to the interpreter. In our case, is slash bing slash bash. The first thing that is you're going to notice is that this first character we use to add notes of comments in our script. This line is not going to be executed. I could put anything here and nothing would be executed. If I don't have a hash in the beginning of the line, chances are that it's going to be executed. I can also put more comments at the end of the line. We can save and quit and we can execute our script. No, we cannot. No. Why we cannot? Because my script does not have permission for executing. We determine what could be executed in our script. Now I'm going to make sure my script is executable. I'm going to change mod, add executable, my script. Again, uh -huh. now it's executable. And to execute my script, I can use the relative path. That is just the current current directory, my script. Or I could use the whole path as home Ubuntu, my script. It works the same way. Now we can use variables. Variables are a chunk of memory that we can name and manipulate this, its contents. Remember the environmental variables? We can use them here as well. to execute my script here. You see, it printed the contents of the environmental variables that I already have. It's the same that as we do anything on the command line. I'm using a file here, but I could just do the same thing directly on the command line. A shell script can be just a bunch of comments that you use every time in the same sequence in a file executed could evoke that through a Chrome job and there you are you have a script it's not that complicated in its essence but it does give you the upside of an automation and instead of you doing manually in possibly messing up it's already in the script we can also create our own variables especially if you're going to reference the same data the same information several times See, instead of printing log, it's printing the contents of the variable log that I created. Let's do something more concrete, something more useful. Remember when we were doing grep a few lessons ago? We can use that here. Grep case insensitive. I'm going to create a variable for that. I'm going to call it p for my pattern. What I want is disconnected from... I want to grab that information from log, from var log out. I want it to go from that and I want it to cut dash d delimitator is column field four. From that I want to cut it again. Delimitator is blank space. Field is seven. Sort that out. 
the unique but I want to count that unique and I want to sort it out again by the numbers in reverse to get it the top three on that list. Sounds pretty good. This is my top three attackers. Let's save this and let's try it out. Ooh. No, I don't think so. Oh yes, I was forgetting this. Ah, don't forget the quotes. And now we have my top three attackers. Let's say that instead of having a top three, I want a top five or top ten or just a top one. How am I going to input this information in my script? I can use positional parameters. What this positional parameters indicate is when I execute the program, I can put more parameters and I, I can have the script to identify those parameters and know what to do with them, like a variable. So I'm already taking that input from the execution of the script as a variable and a content that I can manipulate inside my script. If I want to take that input and work as a variable, I can do that. Here, I can go and change this three for first parameter. And I can also change it here. I want the top three, or I want the top five. You see, it's, it's doing nicely. But if I don't give any parameters to my script is going to do everything or it's going to assume some number. I want it to give me a error message that I should give a parameter there. I want the script to give me a message with the correct usage of the executable if I fail to give a parameter. You see that we're using a conditional there. If open brackets space this is important dash z first parameter if my first parameter is empty which is the same as saying I'm not giving any parameters space again close brackets then echo usage is I'm going to use the position of parameter zero that means the name of the program a number exit zero which means stop everything don't execute the rest of the script close with a if backwards if I check that and here we are. Usage is my script number. You can see what I did here was pretty simple. I didn't go too crazy on the script because it really doesn't require you to. It is a programming language. You're going to use programming language principles. There is a whole grammar for that. If you already are doing things on the command line and you're doing that manually all the time, a lot of comments, you can put those comments in a bash script. You can start with a shebang line by line. If I'm doing this first, then that, then that, then that, you don't need to use variables. You don't need to use anything else if you're not comfortable yet. But you're going to see that the power of the scripting is knowing how to do that more efficiently. You have So don't rush, take your time, refer to some study guides and try to do simple things until you feel comfortable to doing more complex scripts. I know Kung Fu. That's all for now folks. Thanks for watching. Hope you like it. See you next time. Bye!